I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you solution of a test problem. Now this is a very interesting question on sequences and series. The question is the twelfth term of an arithmetic series is 3 and the sum of first 22 terms is 0. Determine the value of 15th term. So what we know here is that T12 is 3 we also know that sum of first 22 terms, that means S of 22, is 0. And determine the value of 15th term, so T15 is what we need to find. So first write down whatever you know about the question or what you want to find. Now it is arithmetic series, so write down the formulas for sum and the number of terms. Now number of terms is A plus n minus 1 times d and for sum we have actually two formulas and uh, I will use the one which is n divided by 2 times t1 plus tn and I'll tell you why am I using this formula. Now let's read the question once again. It says 12th term of an arithmetic series is 3. So if I write 12 here then I get t12 is equals to a plus 12 minus 1 times d and we know t12 is 3 so we can write 3 equals to a plus 11d right now that is the first part second part i know is s22 sum of first 22 terms is 0 and that's the formula now when can i get sum as 0 can you tell me that so what we are saying here is that sn s of 22 is equals to, I'll write 22 over 11 here, I mean 22 over 2, which is 11, and I'll say T1 plus T of 22, right? Now, if I say that this sum is 0, what does it mean? That is the key for solving this particular question, and that is the reason why some of you could not get it, right? This could be 0 only if T1 plus T22 is 0, right? Otherwise, it cannot be 0. So that, because 22 over 2 is 11, right? So that clearly indicates that at this stage, 0 is equals to T1 plus T22. Or you could also say T1 is minus of T22. So that is how we get a relation. And this relation helps us to get the second equation. We already got one equation which is 3 equals to a plus 11d, right? Let me number this as 1. Now from here, we can write down the second equation. So what is t1? t1 will be in this equation if I put 1, which is a, right? So t1 is a for us. We say a equals to minus of t22. I'll put 22 now, right? So I'll get a, let me put it in bracket, a plus 22 for n, 22 minus 1 times t. Is it okay? So I get my second equation. Let me clearly write on both the equations on the right side of this line. So the first equation we got is 3 equals to a plus 11d. And here we are seeing that a, let me rewrite, open it here and then we'll take it that place. So we get a equals to minus a minus 22 minus 1 is 21d. Is it okay? So that is what we get. So we'll rearrange. We'll take this a to the right side. As soon as get take or since we are written this form, let me take a to this side. So I get 0 equals to minus 2a minus 21d. Do you see that? So what I did was I brought this a to the right side. So we get 0 equals to minus 2a minus a minus a minus 2a minus 21d correct so so these are the two equations which we are talking about this is our equation one this is two right now it is a question of solving variables from two different equations we have two variables so what we can do is we can multiply the first equation by two so if i do equation number one times two what do i get three times two is six equals to 2a plus 22d. Is it okay? Now, if I add them up, then we eliminate a, correct? That was the whole idea. So, if I add them up, so I get 
6 plus 0 is 6 equals to that is 0, right? Plus when I add them, I get D. So I get D equals to 6. Do you get the point? So D is 6 for us. So we have found the value of D, which is 6. And we can actually find the value of A also by placing D in the first equation. So, so for the time being, let me call this as my equation number 3. And now I will substitute 3 in 1, correct? So what do I get? If I substitute 6 here, I get 3 equals to A plus 11 times 6. So, so now A is equals to 3 divided by 66, right? That is the value of A, which is 1 over 22, okay? So that becomes the value of, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it should be minus, right? So 66, so which is, so 3 minus 66 equals to A, so A equals to minus 63, is it okay? So that is how we can get the value of A, right? So what we get here is A equals to minus 63. So, so what we know now is A is minus 63 and D is equals to 6 and we need to find S, I mean T of 15, right? 15th term. So we can now substitute all these values and get T15. So we get T15 equals to A is minus 63 plus 15 minus 1 times D, which is 6, right? So we get minus 63 plus 15 minus 1 is 14 times 6. So let us use the calculator now and find the answer. So we have 14 times 6 minus 63 equals to 21. So we get 21 as T15. So T15 equals to 21. So that becomes our answer. Do you get the idea? So let's go through this solution. First step is always write down what you know and what you want to find. Figure the formulas which you need to apply to get to the solution. Now from the formula we know we want T15. So we should know A and D. 15 is known to us. To find A and D we understood that sum of a series is 0 only if the first and the last term are negative of one another, right? Or their sum is 0. From there, we got our second equation, correct? First equation was very clear. Then using the two equations, we solved for both the variables a and d. Once we know them, we can easily find the 15th term as required by this question. I hope this helps. Thank you and all the best.